Welcome to Holly EFI Training Part 9. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our basic sensor setup and configuration. We need to make sure these basic sensors are all configured properly before we do any actual tuning. This is going to be including things like our throttle position sensor, our manifold air pressure sensor, intake air temperature, engine coolant temperature, oil pressure, fuel pressure. These are going to be the core channels that are going to be used for various types of calculations. If we don't have these correct, we'll find that our fuel and spark timing will not be delivered to our engine properly. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check out how to set these up. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at setting up our basic inputs and configuration details for the core input channels to our Holly HP or Dominator boxes. We need to make sure these core channels like map sensor input or throttle position are going to be calibrated and reading properly or else our fuel and spark timing calculations will not be accurate and we cannot properly calibrate the engine that we're working with with our Holly controller. So the very first thing we're going to do here in order to learn how to work with this, let's go here to download from ECU. I'm going to go and download the file that's loaded into my Holly Dominator right now. I'll click OK here. So the first thing that we're usually prompted up here when the software is going to be performing our TPS auto set. That's going to make sure that when our off the throttle or all the way on the throttle, full throttle or any throttle movement in between, the Holly is going to be able to track what our throttle movement and the throttle input to our engine is going to be. And that's going to be super important. So if we're off the throttle, it knows to go into deceleration fuel cut. If we're going into decelerating or if we're coming back into idle conditions, it knows if we're off the throttle, we need to be in our idle parameters and the idle is going to be functional. Or if we go and give throttle input to the engine, we're going to have airflow coming into the engine that's going to be above and beyond what the normal fuel table can properly track. That's where the acceleration enrichment needs to be applied so that we have extra fuel added so that we're going to have good throttle response. We don't have a momentary lean spike as we give throttle movement in uh, as we're driving. So there's going to be all kinds of reasons we need to make sure the throttle is going to be calibrated. So let's go and perform our TPS auto set right off the bat here. So if we actually go here to USB link, we can go and establish getting live with our data here. We can see that our TPS here is reading 6% right now. That is not going to be correct. If I'm off the throttle, it should read here approximately zero. And actually it should read zero, it shouldn't be approximately zero, it should just read zero. So I'm gonna go and click the off the online here. We're gonna to go to the sync with ECU, use our drop down, and go to TPS auto set. This is gonna be where we perform that TPS auto set function. It's gonna ask me if I've done a key cycle prior to going in here and trying to perform this TPS auto set. I have power cycled my Holly Dominator box when I turned off my vehicle and then I powered it back on again, so I have done that process. Let's click OK here. We're gonna say that, it, uh, it's gonna say, make sure the ignition is on and engine is not started. When you're ready to begin, click Start. So we'll click Start here. Slowly press the pedal to the floor, then slowly release the pedal. Please do this twice. So let's go through that process right now. So I'm going to be all the way off the throttle, and then I'm gonna go here all the way, very slowly, all the way to full throttle condition. And then I'm gonna come off the throttle here very slowly. And then I'm gonna do this one more time here. So I'm gonna go all the way full throttle again. And then I'm gonna come off the throttle here very slowly again. So we've just done this twice, just as it's requested. So now I'm all the way off the throttle. And we can see we are done. If I click done here, we can see that it was done successful. So now, click okay here. If I go to USB link, and let's get back here live with the ECU, we can see the TPS is now zero. It's not reading 6%. So it's tracking our throttle position accurately. So I just have the key on. So the key, on, the key is on in my vehicle. The dominator is powered on. My engine is off. I have no throttle movement. Now we can test this real quick here. Let's go and just sweep the throttle. If I go all the way here, full throttle, and then come all the way off and then come back all the way on here. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.